Hello and welcome to World Edit with Chairkiller30. Today in episode one, we are going to be covering how to select a, re a region with uh, World Edit and how to modify that selection. So to start off with, you're going to want to give yourself the mod uh, the region selection tool. To, to do that, you're going to want to do slash slash wand. As you can see here, I have been given a wooden axe. Now. Uh, Word Edit has two different selection methods. The first, and by far the most common, would be the cube, uh, the cuboid s s selection uh, method. So, what is a cuboid? You might ask. Well, as you can see here, I have this cube here outlined, and this would be a cuboid. It has two points, one in either corner, and uh, Word Edit extrapolates from that. Uh, position the size of the uh, rectangle, and it also uh, ex extrapolates the height. So if I selected this as a first position, and this as the second position, uh, ProDedit would call this whole bottom layer my selection. But because I have selected this bottom corner here as the first position, and this top block here, it has selected this layer and every other layer up to this block here. Now, what can you do with that selection once you have made the uh, initial change? So, there are three main commands. The first of all is expand. Say I forgot to add in two blocks to my selection over here, which I'm going to demonstrate with two diamond blocks. And I want to add those two diamond blocks to my selection, but I don't want to go through the whole process of selecting a, a cuboid. So to do that, I would simply type slash slash expand the number of blocks which I, I want to expand. So in this case, that's two. So expand two, and then the d d direction which I, I want to expand. In this case, because I am facing the uh, direction, I will type F for forward. Now. My uh, selection has just encompassed these two di uh, diamond blocks there and their columns going all the way down and then connecting with the rest of this cube. Now, say I have made an oopsies and I actually didn't want to select those two blocks. How I would uh, undo that would be to do slash slash contract and then the number of blocks that I want to contract towards myself. And in this case, that would be back. So I have just re uh, retracted these two columns here back in, uh, into the cube, and they are no longer s selected. Now say that I want this whole cube to include these two blocks, but I actually did not mean to have two blocks over here selected. How would I simply move my whole selection over to? Well, that's also pretty simple, and that is a, a command known as shift. So you are, are going to want to do slash slash shift the uh, n the number of blocks which you want to sh shift your selection, and then the direction. In this case, I want to sh to shift it two blocks away from me, so I'm going to shift two forward. Now my whole uh, region it no longer has these two columns here, but it has added these two columns over here to its uh, area. So instead of going through the whole process with the wand tool, you can also use other commands. Uh, in this case, there are uh, are two. Uh, first of uh, first of them is slash slash position, and then alternating between one and two. Position one will set the uh, position to the block which your feet are currently occupying. So because my feet are occupying the corner in which uh, an iron block was. This iron block has now been selected. And then the sister command to that is slash slash position two. So now, because my feet have been occupying this block, that is now the second position. Now, if you don't want to actually go and fly to where you, yeah, you want to select, you can simply do slash slash h position one, and that will select the block you are uh, looking at as said uh, position.
and the sister command to that, as I just typed, was slash slash h position 2. And that selects this block right here as the second position. Now, as for directions which you can uh, expand or contract or shift your region to, to, there are too many that I don't want to count. So, first of all, we'll go with the, those that are uh, constant no matter what. That would be north, south, east, west, up, and down. So, these always st uh, stay the same no matter where you are, no matter what direction you are, are facing. North will always be north, up will always be up, down will always be down. Now, for the, uh, those can all be sh should be shortened to uh, north uh, to N, south to, s uh, to S, east to E, and west to west, up to, uh, up to U, and down to D. Much, much shorter, much, much simpler. Now, those that vary uh, with the direction that your player is uh, looking, those would be forward, backward, right, and left. So if I was, since I am looking f forward, uh, expanding to the right, self-explanatory, to the left is self-explanatory, forward self-explanatory, backward is self-explanatory, and these are, are all shortened to F for forward, B for backward, right for, or R for right, and L for left. So, that is it for the cuboid region uh, s s selection. I will be back with a different uh, arena for po polygonal uh, region selection. So hang tight, and I will edit myself back in here in a second. All right, I am back with a different arena, and right now we will be talking about polygonal s selection. So to start, you change your mode from uh, cuboidal to polygonal by typing slash slash cell poly. So now you have changed from uh, cuboidal mode, that's that uh, rectangle mode, to a 2D polygon mode. So over here, I just have three points laid out, and I will start my uh, polygon by left-clicking. I will add a second point, which with uh, cuboidal was all you needed, by right uh, by right-clicking. With a polygon, though, you need at least three points. To, uh, to give three uh, axes. So, this was my second point. Now say I, I, I just wanted this whole line to be selected, I would simply make my third point one backwards on that same line. But because I don't, I set my first point back there, my second point here, and say my third point here. Now, this entire bottom layer here has been selected. Out, uh, outlined by the uh, glass blocks and the air uh, within. This is now my selection. Now, you would think if it's a polygonal tool that it should support 3D, but no, uh, the World at Edge polygonal uh, tool does, in a sense, support 3D, but not really. So, say that I want to make this have another vertical dimension. I would simply go back, set my first point at that block, my second block here, and then my third point upwards. So now, instead of just selecting this bottom uh, layer, it has also selected the three layers above that. So now this whole outlined area has been selected. Instead of just selecting a, a straight line here and then bringing it up to a point in this corner, All right, so uh, again, uh, polygonal tool, it does make a good polygon on a flat uh, s surface, but if you s select it vertically, then it will simply multiply that s s selection layer upwards. It will not make it a legitimate 3D polygon. So a few applications of that. Over here, we have a diagonally oriented cube and so I'm going to set my first point over here, my second point here, 
add a third point here, and then a fourth point up here. Now this whole region here has been uh, outlined, so you can uh, make a diagonal cube uh, and modify it through uh, world edit by using the polygonal s selection tool. Now some more fun, uh, fun stuff. Right here we have a uh, simple diagonal wall. And so say that this was 50 blocks high and you just had one outline down here. You would uh, create your first point at one end, your second point one block from the end, and then your third point all the way at the top. And because it just multiplies one layer, and I have s selected this simple diagonal line, and it'll be multiplied up. So instead of, uh, of having to, s to select e each column at the same time and then uh, modify it, I can simply select the whole diagonal wall. And uh, again, the expand command works just fine for polygonal as it does for uh, cuboidal. So does the contract and shift uh, uh, commands. So say you are sick of polygonal and you want to go back to cuboidal. In this case you simply slash cell cuboid. And this will move your uh, s s selection uh, parameters back to that good old rectangle form. So I hope that this has been of some learning help uh, to you. I will see you in the next episode. Cheers.